Hello Ponzi coders. Okay, we're now into the next phase of uh, our program here. So uh, the next thing that I want to work on is a combination of sound. So we're going to introduce sound into uh, our application. Um, and when I'm, I don't know if y'all remember way back in the design stage in the first video um, that the idea was we have our get quote button quote and we have our stock symbol here and the price I know you are getting tired of seeing this uh, and then whether it was up or down a certain percentage um, the idea is if this stock is uh, is up I want to play a sound that says you did a good job and if it is down I want you to play a sound that says you did a bad job now I have, let's go into Eclipse here, I have uh, my raw directory, my raw subdirectory under the res directory, and I've got uh, two mp3 files. Okay, so we'll go into the finder here, and I've got uh, in my raw subdirectory, um, I've got two mp3 files. Um, and let's go ahead and play those. So we'll bring this down. Oh my, but you are a stock market guru. Okay, so that is my positive sound. And the stock is down. Ooh, that sucks. All right, so we have our two sounds. Not my, but you are a stock market guru. Ooh, that sucks. Now, if, uh, not if, you can create your own sounds. Just make sure they're MP3 files, and you want to make sure that you've placed them uh, in your raw subdirectory. And now, uh, let's make them work so just like we've done with text view and button we're going to create uh, some reference variables um, and we're going to use a new class called media player so media player I'm going to say you guru is my variable name and media player uh, that sucks and we're going to need to import that package. Done. Um, and again, we need to tie that variable name uh, to an asset. And in this case, uh, we're going to do that by instantiating, or not instantiating. God, what am I saying? We're going to tie the MP Guru just like we did with uh, the button and the text views. Um, and we're going to use a method, uh, a create method. And do you see here it's saying that uh, it requires a, con a context? Um, I'll probably do a separate video talking about a context, but we're going to use uh, the this reserve word and all that is saying is when this um, this meaning when main when the main class uh, gets called we want to apply uh, this uh, this method to this object and I know that's not going to make a ton of sense but 
as you do it and you see other examples, the idea of the context will make more sense. The res ID we know, you just do the R dot and we're looking in raw dot and we want to play the guru mp3 file and then close it with a semicolon. Do the same thing for that sucks. Never thought I'd be doing a video that has that actual phrase, but hey, why not? This, comma, and do the same thing, r dot raw dot, that sucks. Okay, so now we've tied uh, our object to something with a reference variable that we can uh, that we can play around with. The next thing you want to do is skip down um, right before the catch, and as you recall, this is where we've parsed um, out and we have our three uh, pieces of information about the stock, and we want to create. Uh, a primitive, um, a primitive variable, t variable type, a, a char, care, however you want to say it. We're going to call it C, and we're going to assign it to the change percentage. And the reason I want to do that is because I need to know whether the stock uh, was positive or negative, because that's what's going to trigger um, whether it's going to be a positive or negative. Um, MP3 that's gonna gonna play, and I know that that plus or minus in this particular field is gonna be the um, the first character uh, the first character. So I'm gonna put the index as zero, and that's gonna return um, the negative or positive, but actually, if I remember correctly, um, if it's positive, there's not a plus sign, it's just if it's negative. So then all we have to do is do an if statement and say, if this uh, C variable is equal to a negative, then I want to play the MP3, um, MP that sucks. And you do that using the start method of the MD, M, the media player. Um, so there we go. If C equals that, and I didn't put a parentheses up here, so let's do that. Uh, so if C is equal to negative, play that. Um, you know that sucks. Or or else. We know just play the you guru because we know it's positive. Now the last thing you're going to want to do is go back up and where we're declaring, you know, let's say before the the sound um, variables or reference variables, we're going to use a method from actually the activity class called set volume control stream and we're going to set that and don't worry uh, for now about the parameters just kind of type this verbatim what it's doing it's allowing us or allowing the user um, to set the volume of our app um, individually for that uh, for the app. If we don't do this, um, it's going to make it. You, you're going to want to import audio manager. Um, it's going to make it uh, difficult to hear, and it's it's easy to turn up the volume. Okay, go ahead and give it a try. Uh, and if you have any problems, send me a comment. Next, we'll go over uh, how to get, instead of hard coding it just to, to Google, how to get any quote. See you then.